Um, no, Jason Malumby has uh, sort of just tweaked his hamstring, so it may not be, he's not available for selection tomorrow night. And we ha have a fitness check on Andrew Omabamadele, who had got a kick in his sort of Achilles on, in the Norwich game the weekend at the weekend. So he, he has, it's been sore and we'll have, to, we'll have to see how he is. We'll have to wait and see. Uh, I can't say I'm optimistic. Uh, we, we can, we, we'll wait and see how he is, you know. Obviously you're at home, but how do you see this game playing out? I mean, is it a game where you're likely to be counter-attacking for most of the game? Uh, no, that's certainly not the intention. I think uh, Portugal are, listen, Portugal are a world-class team. They're the Euro previous European champ champions, Nations League holders. Um, we know they've got a lot of players playing in the Champions League final and so forth, but we're at home. It's, it's um, you know, we've got a lot of good players ourselves. We're evolving as a team. You can see the progression of the team. You can see the team evolving in front of your eyes every game we play, and you can see the improvement. And, um, you know, so we're, we're, we're excited by the game. We know it was 14 months ago, my first match, September, and with a year of empty stadiums, nothing, you know, in terms of. It's, it's a bit soulless like when it's empty like that and when you go in at 25,000 such a difference um, in September 27,000 and 52,000 for these games it's amazing you know this is the first game since the restrictions have been lifted we're very enthused by that we're excited by it uh, the players are motivated by that you know they want to you know they I think they deserve to feel the affection of the support because they've been playing with you know shown their talent in the last couple of windows and I feel that the connection now between the team and the support and you know we want that to continue to grow. Thank you. Gavin? Steve, you've spoken very highly with David Collins in the past. If Andrew doesn't make it, would he be uh, someone that could come in and do as good a job as Andrew's done since he broke through? Yeah, yeah, Nathan has, has done very well and he's certainly in contention, uh, that's for sure. Um, we, you know, it's, it's, it's an area that really think that three emerging players coming through in that, in that position, which is great for our future, really, with Daryl O'Shea, who got injured in, in Faro, and Nathan Collins, and Andrew Omavamadili, who's been absolutely excellent for us uh, so far since he made his debut, has looked, looked uh, so, so natural at this level, and uh, it's been great to see. Well, we, listen, we know, listen, we know, we spoke already, we know Portugal are a world-class team, they've got exceptional players, and you can't predict anything because, you, you know, uh, training, we've trained very well, the players have applied themselves brilliantly, their attitude has been absolutely excellent, and um, we know that Portugal have, have, have quality in every position, so we're going to have to really play above ourselves uh, to get, you know, to get the level of performance that we require. We're going to have to play to our absolute full potential. And, uh, but that's what we must, we must strive to do that. Just asking about with Jeff sitting there, especially just how Jeff has really uh, become an integral part of the midfield. Jeff, you must really enjoy playing in, the, in this role. But just asking both, I suppose, see what Jeff brings to the performance, especially with, in the game where you want to hold on to possession and yeah. play key passes. And then Jeff, I suppose, for yourself, just how do you think your, your role is? He's not that good, eh? You're not that good. No, but I think uh, he. he uh, no, Jeff has been. Uh, Jeff has been uh, obviously since the Portugal game, particularly um, uh, when he, you know, started a new season and put in an incredible shift in that game. And was, for central midfielders, that it was a, it was a huge out of possession shift as well. He had to had to cover a lot of ground in that game, but he used the ball very, very well, and obviously brought that into the the Serbia game. Yeah, we played against Serbia and had one of his be best games and really good game against Serbia and brought that into the next window. 
sort of had two really good games in Azerbaijan and stood out, uh, sort of managed the match performance against Qatar here. So the last four internationals, he's really raised his game and put on, has been very consistent over the four. So hopefully he can, you know, it's great for great for him, great for us. And we're seeing the benefits of that and hopefully he can bring it into tomorrow. What was your question for me again? Yeah, uh, I'm enjoying my football. Uh, I've not been playing too much this season, um, but you know I've been saying I'm, I'm just enjoying every moment and getting on the pitch, and I feel like I'm I'm growing each game. So, yeah. Um, do you want that one? <laughs> <laughs> that was the end, the container, Ronaldo. No. Um, yeah, you know, we were hurt after the last game. Um, the, like the manager said, the, the effort we put in uh, when you play top teams like that, it's always going to be hard uh, off the ball. Um, but we had a game plan and, and I thought it worked really, really well up until 88 minutes or so. And I think we, we kept Cristiano Ronaldo quiet. The whole team, uh, the defence were brilliant as well, and you know that's why he's a top player. Um, to have such a quiet game and then score two, two goals was was brilliant for him. But it hurt us. Uh, so yeah, um, we we have to try and put out that sort of same level of uh, commitment and and hard work, and because um, we didn't do too much wrong out there, um, but we've been working hard on. On what we can improve from that performance, and um, hopefully we can put that right. Yeah, no, obviously um, he's a terrific player. You know, there's no doubt about it. And his longevity over sort of two decades has been quite incredible. But um, you know, to be honest, they have a lot of good players. You know, the players right throughout. So we're not really focusing on one player. You know, I think it'd be naive to do that because they can punish you from. You know, from from so many areas. So we're just we're just trying to improve ourselves. We know that you know we're not we're far from, we're not perfect, and we know there's a lot of areas that we can still improve, and uh, we're still emerging. And I think we can see the improvement, but we've got to work on a lot of a lot a lot of other stuff. And um, so we have been doing that over the last few days, and you know, hopefully we can put in a, the performance that we need tomorrow night, because uh, you know. Because it will be quite inspiring, obviously, to play in front of um, the, the full house here that, of Irish supporters, which is, um, which is which is brilliant to see. Sorry if I have a question in the live section. The live section. Yeah, Damien at the back. Final question. Jeff, yeah, sorry, on a side issue, can I just ask you about the club's been exciting times over the last few weeks? Uh, what's happening for you? Yeah, it's exciting for the club and the fans. Um, I, th I think it's something they've wanted um, so we're bottom of the league um, the only way is up really um, so it's good for them yeah you say you've, you've not played so much this season are you hoping your international form can give you a good impetus to get back into the team at, at, at club level yeah hopefully uh, but at the moment I'm not, I'm not thinking about that uh, the main focus is, is the Ireland games